second share here with Lyrics 1.4. In this new version of Lyrics, we have introduced support for the karaoke.net store. What this means for you is you now have a way through Lyrics to browse, search, purchase, and download karaoke songs right on the fly. So if you've got a request that you can't fill, it's not in your own library, you can quickly search the store, add it to the cart, check out. Those songs are then downloaded to your hard drive. They're yours to keep forever. They're sold for $2.49 a pop. Right now you're looking at a catalog of over 25,000 songs, many of which are in HD quality, which they are. it's indicated right next to the song title in the list, which I'll show you in a minute. Uh, and, and they're downloaded and yours to keep. So uh, this means basically that if you got requests you can't fill, you can fill them. And you can add them right to rotation and have that song playing immediately after downloading it. So first thing you're going to do, and I'm going to demonstrate for you how to create an account, how to browse and search those songs right now. So what you're first going to do is when you open up Lyrics 1.4 or newer, on the left-hand side of the browser, you're going to locate the new karaoke.net tab. You're going to right-click it, which on Mac is Control-Click. You can Control-Click it. You'll get a menu right like this. The first thing you're going to do, because you don't have an account at this point, is you're going to click log in, log out. It's going to ask you for your email and password. Now, if you've created an account at karaoke.net, you can log in through Lyrics with those same credentials. If you do not have an account, just click the Create Account button. It's going to prompt you to put in your email, a password, your company name if applicable. I'd put something in that space regardless, even if it's just your name. First name, last name, your country, and the state. If you're, if you're outside of the United States, you do not need to put in a state. Uh, and then after you've put in all these credentials, you just create, create, or uh, click create rather. So that'll create your account. Once you've got your account, you'll once again, control click karaoke.net, AKA right click, and you'll choose log in, log out. Since I already have an account, I'll just log into mine really quick. And as soon as you log in, if you've put in the proper credentials, you're going to notice next to karaoke.net, it's going to say connected. And there's a good chance this tab won't be open when you first open it up. It'll just be this right here where you just see karaoke.net. If you click the little karaoke.net logo, it's going to expand. And you're going to see that catalog is now showing up directly below it, which will show you a list of all available songs right here where you can browse. So we're up to about 24,757 songs. And as soon as these songs are accessed, as soon as you log in and it downloads and retrieves the latest catalog file from karaoke.net of all available songs, those songs are automatically added to the search cache in Lyrics. So if I do a search, let's see. Miley Cyrus, I can locate a song. Some of these songs are coming from the subscription, which I'm also connected to. And that's one thing to point out. If you are a party time karaoke subscription user, you already have access to all these same songs. This, uh, the karaoke.net integration is for those that want to buy those songs on the fly instead of subscribe to all. So once we've located a song we want to purchase, we just put a tick in the box. As you can see, Songs that are for sale will have these little check boxes where you can just put a little tick in there, which shows up as a little X. Now, songs that are in HD format, they're going to show HD. It's going to have the disc ID, the year, and then shortly after that, uh, you'll have the HD, if it's HD, and you'll have the genre. So I'll just tick the boxes of a couple different tracks, and you can perform various searches as you're going and add as many songs as you want to the cart. So once you've located a few tracks to buy, Right here on the left side, once again, right under karaoke.net, just click on shopping cart. That's going to show you any of the songs that you've put ticks, uh, tick boxes in. If you've checked off the box, they're going to appear here under the shopping cart tab. So once you, you're clear that these are the songs you do indeed want to purchase and download right now, you right click on shopping cart, once again, control click, and choose order tracks. It's going to confirm your purchase, it's going to ask you to confirm, it's going to show you your total dollar amount of what you're purchasing, and then you're just going to click OK. It's going to ask you for your credit card. So at this point, you're going to put in your credit card details. Now, these cre uh, credit card details, once you put them in once in a session, they are going to save for the remainder of the session. So at your start of your event, 
uh, start of the night, while you're hosting karaoke, that very first song you purchase, you're going to have to put in the credentials. This is really a safety mechanism for security purposes. So you will enter in your details at the start of the event, and they're going to be stored in there for the duration. So it's much simplified, uh, a quicker checkout process when you just have to go and check out, and you just have to hit OK to confirm, and it's going to purchase and download. So those songs were download. And just like they do from the subscription, they're going to appear after downloading with a little check mark next to them to indicate it's been purchased. And I'll just show you what that looks like here, uh, right here. You see a little check? So that's how the purchased and downloaded tracks will appear. And they will show under the purchase tab as well. So not only will they show under purchase, they will be added to the internal database, the search cache. So from that session forward, when you search those songs, they're going to show up with check marks next to them, indicating they're ready to play. So that's really all there is to it. Now, for those that aren't interested in using karaoke.net, just like we did with Party Time, you can go into Options, and under the Karaoke tab in Options, you can put a tick in the box to disable the store. And as you see, it just takes it right on out of the, the browser if you click that little tech, tick box. Not only that, upon restarting uh, lyrics, those songs will not reappear in the search cache. So those songs will be removed, they will no longer show in search results, and they will no longer be part of your database. So you can re-enable it at any time, and it will add those songs back once you've logged in. I almost forgot something really important. If you want to preview a track before purchasing it, all you have to do is load it to the deck. Right-click on the song, load to deck A, drag it up there, and hit the software will automatically, you know, compliments of karaoke.net, load a 30 second sample of the track so you can preview the audio and the on screen lyrics before making your purchase. That's really all there is to it. We're really excited about this new partnership with karaoke.net. In app purchases of karaoke songs have never been easier. If you have any questions about this functionality or anything else in lyrics for that matter, feel free to leave them in the comments section below. Thank you.